Hey there YouTubers, so in this video we're going to update the BIOS to the MSI Pro Z690 A DDR4. Let's get started. So first thing we want to do folks is search for MSI Pro Z690 A DDR4. There may be a D5 version. Um, so we definitely want to put that in there. See the first link there, click on that. Now a lot of times folks, I spend a lot of time just telling you about all the cautions and things you should do before doing this. Um, unfortunately, one of the last times I did it, I got some negative comments. Click on support here. And so we're just gonna kind of fly into this folks. Uh, hopefully you know what you're doing. Realize some things could go wrong here. All right, so BIOS, here we are here. They're all listed out, right? What you want to do is read from the bottom up and look for any of these that possibly have to be done before you can do the most up to date. Now, that said, 90 some percent of the time, the most up to date BIOS has everything down below, right? They're cumulative. And so you can see. Uh, for the most part, most of you probably don't need to update the BIOS. However, if you're going to the i9-12900KS like this one, you would need it. And or if you're going to 13th gen, you see this right here? This is probably to support 13th gen or some additional 12th gen CPU. So this is the one we want, folks, the newest one. We click download. And then we'll open this folder up. So I have a lot of files in here. We're going to go ahead and copy this over. If I can figure out which one it is, this one. Paste it in there. And then I'm going to unzip it. Could have did it in the other spot. And there we are. So there's our file. Now, if we back up one step, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. All right, so just so you can see what mine's formatted to, NTFS, okay, in case you had that question. All right, from here, folks, we are going to uh, reboot. And during the BIOS installation, I'll talk about uh, things to be concerned about. These videos, you know, can usually get them done in less than 10 minutes. All right, so as this thing's restarting, I'm already jamming on the delete key so that we'll go straight to the BIOS. At least hopefully we will. And hopefully this thing's not updating. And come on BIOS. There we are. Okay. You want to click down here on M flash. System will auto reboot and enter flash mode. Do you want to enter flash mode? Yes, I do. So yeah, a lot of times these videos take uh, 10 to 12 minutes. We may do this one in under seven. It all depends on how quick this updates. And enter flash mode and assumes that it finds it. Okay, so we have all these drives on here, folks. Now here's where it gets a little confusing, is which one is which. I have extra drives in here. Is it this one? It's this one. So the way I'm identifying this is that date, right? We just put this on here. And there is the BIOS update file. Are you sure you want to select this file? Hell yeah. All right, so at this point, step away from the computer. All right, let's talk about safety, folks. There is the potential you can brick your motherboard, okay? A lot of times I talk about bad weather, you know, making sure you don't have a hurricane, windstorm, 
rainstorm, thunderstorm, whatever coming through, right? Uh, flooding, anything that would knock the power out. If you happen to have a uh, uninterruptible power supply, UPS, UPS, whatever, then uh, you want to uh, have that hooked up. Um, your, your power supply of your computer basically plugged into that, right? So that you don't lose power. Now this thing's going pretty fast. So that's a concern there. Now, of course, all that said, you could still brick your motherboard for other reasons. It just stuff happens. So hopefully nothing will happen. I have done hundreds and hundreds of these and I have never bricked one. Knock on wood. But obviously you'll read in the comments of my BIOS videos that people do wreck their motherboard. So be careful. Now, what are some reasons why you might want to update a BIOS? Well, uh, hardware going from 12th to 13th gen issues with uh, your RAM maybe they added more compatibility to RAM memory or excuse me uh, storage other things like that security there are countless reasons for updating the BIOS now whether you need to update yours or not that's another story right if your BIOS if, excuse me if your computer is running fine Potentially, you might not need to update the BIOS. You may do more harm than good. So, I also like to usually update my BIOS when I first get a motherboard, uh, especially if I buy it from Amazon. If something were to go wrong, I have that comfort that most likely they'll take it back, right? So, and we are we are almost done. So, so far this video has taken six minutes and fifty one seconds. This might be a, a record for me uh, for getting this done. Now, other things, folks, uh, if you have XMP enabled, that is going to need to be redone, okay? Your amp speed will drop back to the base speed. At least that's the way 95% of motherboards are, if not 100%. Um, the other issue may be if you have multiple hard drives, you may have a screwed up boot priority, right? So you may have to go in there and adjust your boot priority. So this thing is updating, and now it's gonna start rebooting, probably at least once. Obviously at least once, maybe twice. Now if we're lucky, this will go straight into Windows, and we know we are golden. And voila, there it is, folks. Now, one thing I didn't cover uh, that I usually do how do you check what your BIOS version is? You could have did it inside of the, uh, the BIOS, but uh, if you type in sys info here for system information, you will see it listed in here, folks. There it is right there. The newest one, June 23, 2022, okay, 1.70. That's going to do it for this video, folks. Thanks for checking it out. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.